Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I'm going to show you creating ASP.NET roles. So first of all, uh, add a new uh, uh, view model class that is the project role in which you can define uh, the role name and the role ID property is not necessary but uh, for uh, scaffolding purpose must to add your uh, ID property. So uh, now in the controller sections add a new controller uh, by using this controller you can create a new role into your project uh, first of all I would like to share something about authentication and authorizations authentication uh, is about validating your credentials such as username user ID and passwords to verify your identity but authorizations occurs after your identity is successful authenticated by the system which therefore gives you full access to resources such as information files databases so uh, just uh, uh, put authorization uh, into your projects so you can use authorize uh, data notations uh, into your projects to access the files so here we have a private read only if you are creating uh, roles into your project then must to add a role manager class and that class is used with the identity role okay so after that the identity role you can create a new role uh, into your uh, project and the role manager class is actually exist in asp.net core dot identity package okay now uh, that process is used for authorizations okay now uh, add your role manager uh, in your admin uh, in your constructor to initialize role manager and the create section uh, this is the Uh, that that is the default create section of the get section just uh, add a new uh, create section for the post that is http post class and inside the create method you can call your view model class that is project role and make an instance of the project role class that is role okay first of all check uh, already existing role into the uh, in, into your database file uh, or you can say into your uh, role manager class so first of all where existing roles role exist uh, role uh, exist you can check await and if you are using a wait uh, keyword then must to use async and task type i action result so role manager dot role exist asynchronous role dot role name task of type i action result yeah that is and role dot role name is the string dot role name okay if that role uh, name is exist into the database system that if you are not exist if uh, it is not exist in uh, into the database system then create a new role so where result that is identity type result and uh, await role manager dot create async and by using this statement uh, you have to create a new role for the project role manager dot create async and uh, the role name that is a role dot uh, sorry uh, by using identity role you have to create a new role so new identity role and the role name the role name 
provided by the role dot name here you can pass the string type value into the identity role constructor okay after that uh, you can uh, redirect your uh, result and return view section now this thing is the cool to create a new role into your project and after that you can add a new view for the create section and the template is create and the model class is a project uh, uh, project role okay now after that when you click on the submit button then uh, the whole form will pass us to the HTTP POST action method oops there is getting an error uh, to resolve that type of error by using add a key property in your uh, view model class so just open your project role view model class and add a key property like id inside the project role after that you have to add a view section for the create by using the scaffolding now just select a template that is create and the model class is the project role okay that's cool now just save this and just open the startup file after adding any role into the system so must to register your role class uh, in your identity so add roles and in which you can add identity role okay that's cool now by using this you can add a, a new role into the system okay uh, now run your application uh, run your project and uh, create a new role into the project and after check the role is completely authorized for a controller or not either uh, uh, completely valid and uh, not okay so just type the URL that is admin and the create oops nuts arm dot create it's an admin dot create I think it's a name of the controller is uh, admin yeah that is admin okay now just go to the section of your URL admin and uh, create okay type the name of the role that is administrator that is the first role into the project that is administrator and the second one is the create okay the second uh, role is related to the user oops not refreshed page just again click on it yeah refresh it I mean to say that user role is also added into your role class or you can say role database table so that process is used to add role into the system so now check that role is successfully added into your uh, database table or not so just open your database table by using your connection string that is there and check the tables here uh, ASP.NET roles so just show table data here you can check your role name is there administrator and user okay there is the two type uh, two roles in successfully inserted into your project now after that how to assign their roles to the users and also set the authorizations attribute on in into your project there are uh, three levels of authorizations uh, into uh, you can uh, create into your project that is the first thing you can add into your project that is 
construct a controller level authorization that is the controller level authorization and uh, you also you can pass multiple value multiple uh, roles inside your roles uh, property okay so this is the controller level authorizations and must uh, also you can add the action level uh, authorization particular uh, you can set authorization on a action method particular action method so only the action if you set multiple uh, roles on your controller level and also set particular specified uh, role for a uh, action level you can do easily okay so the levels of authorizations is different uh, there is a three types the first is the controller level and the second thing is the uh, action level action method level and third one is the anonymous anonymous uh, anyone can access uh, your files and your action methods so there is the three types first thing is the controller level uh, roles and second one is the uh, action method level roles and third one is the uh, anonymous types of roles so how to assign the roles to the user that is user manager to add to roles async and in which you can pass the role name that is administrator and check the process of authorization here when we click on the register so first of all anyone can register uh, by the registration process the whole uh, user uh, make a administrator because in the registration page i've defined the roles add to roles into the role uh, synchronization table with the role with the users so email is administrator at the rate of gmail.com and the password is looking like this okay now successfully authentication is completed but authorization is not completed so first of all add use authentication in your startup.cs file and you have to check authorize attribute is added into your project but not authenticated so just when we click on the url for the admin, uh, for the administrator that is not go to the system so just check your startup.cs file where two methods uh, applied here we have app dot use authorization is uh, given but authentication is not given so just add it app dot use authentication by using authentication and authorization you have to enter and you have to access these files when we click on the administrator just login into your system and yeah successfully login and successfully access the project roles by the administrator because that role is you uh, is access the admin controller but we have also a student controller and only student can access you have to check in the student controller there is only student can access that student controller thank you very much for watching this video keep watching all others